In this video, we're going to discuss transitions and specifically the option for using crimmed content. What does that mean? I'm in Camtasia 9 here. If I click the Edit menu and go down to Preferences, we see an option here for using crimmed content in the transitions. I'm going to leave that deselected. I'm going to now go over to Camtasia 8. In Camtasia 8, we click Tools and Options. And again, we see the option for using trimmed content in transitions. For starters, let's just talk briefly about what a transition is. You can see I have two clips on my timeline here. This first clip is transitioning from, <laughs> play on words I guess, transitioning from listen to silent by rearranging letters. That's the first clip. The second clip is a totally dissimilar clip. It's panning a license plate frame on a car. So there's a definite jarring action, if you will, as we move from one clip to the other. Same clips are over here in Camtasia 9 with the same behavior. Okay, so to soften that jar, we often use a transition in between these two clips. So I'm going to grab a transition here. There's my fade. I'll drop it between the two clips. I'm going to do the same thing over in Camtasia 8. Fade transition, drop it between the clips. Next up, I should probably explain what we mean by trimmed content, because that's what we're here to discuss. You'll notice that this clip I've actually trimmed by dragging the edge of the clip farther down. In this particular clip, I'll move it up here, there's actually more to the clip than meets the eye because I've trimmed it to start that clip at this specific spot. But for the moment, we're not using trimmed content. Now as I step through the clip, you can see that the Honda logo on the front of the vehicle from this clip here is present. It's coming into view. But notice it is not moving up. That clip is staying put until the playhead hits this part. Now it begins to move up as the silent fades away. The same thing should be happening over here in Camtasia 9. So again, I'll step through this. There's my Honda logo staying put until I hit the clip and it starts to move. I'm going to delete these transitions. Delete it there. Delete it there. I'm going to enable now the trimmed option using the trimmed part. I'll show you the behavior. Edit, preferences, enable. Okay. Again, I'll drop a fade on there, back in 8, drop a fade on there. So watch the behavior now. It's going to be a little bit different because there was more information than met the eye here at this split. So I'm going to, again, the Honda logo comes into view, but watch. That clip is now, because I'm using the trimmed away part, the clip is in motion as opposed to being a static frame until it hits the actual split part. That's how it looks in 8. 9 should behave the same way. Letters finish and again you can see the Honda badge on the front of the car is actually in motion as the transition occurs. So hopefully it helps you better understand what that option using the trimmed content in the clips is all about. Thank you for watching.